What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of Football Manager. That's right, I'm loving Football Manager right now. Uh, since the last episode, not a lot has changed other than the fact I think I lost back-to-back -back games. I didn't stream yesterday, so I didn't play much Football Manager. Uh, I can't remember where we lost left off, um, but we got wins against Hemel Hempstead, Dorking, Farnborough and Woking. I then lost to Morecambe expectedly in the FA Trophy third round. Uh, obviously, they are currently uh, second in the Vanarama National League. Uh, and the fact that I actually gave them like a half-decent game is not bad. Um, and then we lost to Bath in the Vanarama South, which also wasn't expected, so to speak, but wasn't unexpected. They're second in the table. We were always going to you know, have a tough game or, or lose to them. Um, going forwards, our schedule is actually quite difficult for the next four or five games. We've got Welling, Dartford, Concord, and Dover. When we look at the table... We've got Welling, 8th, Dartford, 5th, Concord, 9th, and Dover, 1st. So the next four games, I'm glad we've got a seven-point gap between us and 8th because the next four games, we might struggle to be picking up points. You know, if we can't even get six points from the next four games, I'll be delighted. If we get, like, even four or five points, it'll be good. Um, it's a shame as well because we're so close to breaking into, like, the fourth and third spots here. Uh, I know they have a few, like, games in hand and stuff, but we're so close to, like, breaking into those spots uh, that I hope our good form carries on and we can get some wins. Um, but of course, it's not uh, not always as easy as that. But after that, we then have like Chippenham, Tombridge, Oxford and Truro. And when you look at where they are, uh, you know, you've got Truro, um, Chippenham, Tombridge, all lower half, Maidstone lower half, Oxford, the only team in the top half really for the next five games. Uh, then Slough, Hampton, Richmond and Chesman. Ches... Ches Chesnum, uh, so Hampton and Richmond, Ches, Chesna, Chesham, why am I struggling with that? Uh, we've got Eastbourne Borough, like, it, it, it's a, the, the next four games are like really difficult games, and then other than Oxford, we pretty much got a really comfortable run in for the back end of the season, um, so really happy with that. As I said, not a lot's changed, guys, um, so I think for today's episode, it is just gonna, we're literally on the Welling game as well, which is perfect, we don't have to wait any time, but yeah, not a lot's changed, so we could just jump straight into the game. Uh, I have changed my tactics a little bit, and I don't know, like, it was a jerk, a knee-jerk reaction. Uh, I started setting play for set pieces and uh, hit early crosses. I don't need to hit early crosses. Um, we just need to hit good crosses and uh, overlap right. I don't really want to overlap left and right because I, I want the midfielders, I suppose, to overlap left and right. But not the defenders, of course. Matthews, Agbon, Tohoma, and Parker. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's where we're at. That's uh, that's that's uh, again a few small tactical tweets. Uh, if you look at the uh, match preview, we've currently won two out of our three games against Welling, so a, a decent record. And we're at home, and we're favourites. So hopefully, we can pick up three points here and uh, have a good game. Our main man here, Cole, he's just not been doing good. He's been letting us down. Um, a fair old, uh, a fair old whack, and uh, yeah, let's let's just hope that this game, you know, Welling, if they beat us here, they're giving themselves a much better chance of getting into the league, and they're going to have the first chance as well of the game. It's George Yu puts it in, and we're one 0 down straight away. Well, seventeen minutes in, that's not what we want. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give some uh, show some passion to the lads right here. I feel like we've got a team more than capable of not only winning this game, but winning the league. Like every time we played a Vanarama national team, we've, you know, we held when they were third or fourth, we held one of the teams to a, an away draw and then they only just beat us at home. When we were, when when we played against uh, Boreham Wood, we ended up drawing the first game and then beating them in the second game. Are we going to concede another goal here? Good save, Cole. Um, and then for... The last game, obviously, we ended up narrowly losing 2-1 away from home I've against uh, the time they were first in the table. Our performances in the Vanarama National League have been fantastic. Go on, Asante. Go on, Asante. Oh, what a save. Yeah, they have been fantastic. So I've got no complaints at all and no, no concerns either that if we can manage to get promoted this season that we absolutely will be able to hold our own in the, the league above, especially if and slash when we upgrade our squad and improve our squad a little bit. But, 
is pretty weird. We're, we're, we're seeming to struggle a little bit against Welling. Now, we've got uh, Asante through. Is he going to finish this one? He's put it over the bar. Put it over the bar. Can't, like, we need, we need to do better. We need to do more. We need to go attacking. We need to dominate these games. There's no two ways about it. We need to be in control and winning. Now, we have, we're, getting, we're getting battered here. A lot of dangerous attacks from uh, Giorgio. Miller has been impressive. What what are they playing? What's our what's our opponent's uh, setup looking like? I want my boys to be like they're playing four four two. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go in and play a four four two. I know it probably is a bit stupid to um to to switch into a four four two right now, but I feel like. We're getting so dominated that I'm going to have to. So Burton can come back into the right-hand side spot. Kieran Curran Brown, Wilding and Hanks is fine. Hurst and Asante are fine. Clifford is a bit of a problem. He's a uh, he, he he can play right mid. Has he got the stats for it? He can play right mid. He's all right. And Agpon Tahoma can't really play left back, but we will play him out there on left back. Um and let's just switch our formation up and see if that's going to uh, going to help us in this game here because we're getting control. Possession is in their favour. Chances are in their favour. Like, we're really not doing uh, so great. Um, and so, unless we can really make a difference here. So, we've got anxious James Matthews. Let's put Agbon to Homer back in the centre-back then. Let's bring James Matthews off for uh, Louis Rogers. And let's bring also Sam Bennett on for uh, Hurst. Um, and hope that Sam Bennett can turn our attack around a little bit I suppose be very disappointed as well if we end up losing 1-0 I want to show some passion in there uh, they're fired up you know they're 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 ready to play they're raring to go they're just not getting the chances and creating the opportunities I think we've had one highlight this whole game you know one clear-cut opportunity that's just not good enough man even a draw would be good here like we're five points ahead of Billericke in seventh now Welling have actually moved in um, hopefully just the one point would be valuable because they would also drop uh, two points. It would be a massive, massive difference and we're not going to get it. So a 1-0 loss at home to Welling. Not what we want. Not what we want at all. Um, I don't really know uh, what we can do about that. We're now only four points. We were nine points clear of eighth place. Now two, two losses in a row um, and all of a sudden we're only four points clear of uh, eighth place and all of a sudden the the potential um to slip up is there especially given the fact that we've got Dartford next that is going to be a make or break game isn't it uh, a make or break game um well not really like it's just I know we've got some tough tough games coming up that's all we're we're still in a good position and in fact even with those two losses and the fact that they have got a few games in hand we're only five points behind third place we had those two wins instead of two losses. We'd be third, we would be third place right now, which would obviously be pretty uh, pretty fantastic. Um, I think we're just going to get one more game in for today. And then uh, hopefully not throw this away. Um, Dartford, Dartford are just going to be top uh, tough. You know, they're fifth for a reason. We're away from home. And that's why I feel like we should have beat Welling. We were favourites. We were at home. We are in great form. Like, you know, it's just one of those ones where you don't, you don't expect, uh, you don't mind losing, or well, you do mind losing, if you if you know what I mean. But it's not about losing; it's about the performance sometimes, and the fact that we performed so poorly is a bit sad. And I wonder if it's because I've changed those tactics to play for set pieces. Um, maybe that was a mistake. Maybe I should take that off. Maybe that's what the difference has been. You know, playing for set pieces means we give up the possession more. I don't know. I don't really know what the um, the playing for set pieces trait or tactic truly represents you know i haven't played this game enough this year to really understand um did uh did rogers leave no not yet um if he does leave it's uh it's absolutely fine we've got plenty of plenty of players and we're coming towards that back end of the season where it's uh not a problem um ask hanks to resolve the issue um hanks unable to resolve the issue cheers uh i'm not starting enough i think you're a very influential member in the I'll give you the playing time you want. So Jake Goodman wants playing time. You know what? Let's give it to him. 27-year-old. He's played 15 games. The problem is he's just not performing well. He's got stats that su suggest that he should be insane. 
but he's not performing well. Let's bring him back in. Let's give him some playing time. And if he can, uh, if we end up going and winning this and winning again, oh, Concord will drop to 11th now. Maybe that'd be a bit easier game than I thought. But yeah, if we end up winning Dartford and winning Concord, picking up those six points, I might, I might play uh, both of those games. Well, it depends. It depends. If we get a win against Dartford, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably, I'll probably be happy and call it a day there. But if we end up losing against Dartford, I'll probably want to give you guys at least one win on the video. Um, what I do want to do though is last game we played 2D. Like when I play by myself without it being for stream or anything like that, I typically play on the 2D camera. I just prefer it. it. It reminds me of Football Manager of old, you know, like when I used to play Football Manager, there was no 3D match engine. It didn't exist. Um, so I'm just so used to 2D. But I know a lot of people just love the 3D match engine. So we'll go back to the 3D match engine for today's game. No problem at all. Or at all, even. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully. Oh, we've got a, a fixture pile up coming in here as well. Uh, we've got Concord four days after, then the next game three days after. So, three games in seven days coming here. <sighs> Dover being first, although Dover are going to have that fixture pile up as well, which is good for us because with my fitness capabilities and, and resting my players, we should be able to get the most out of uh, everything. We've got more better connections with players in the team and stuff now as well. Um, let's hope. Let me get the uh, sideline thingy there. Um, yeah, let's just hope that we can uh, we can do good. Let's show some passion, lads. We've got good stamina compared to these guys, and we're in the black kit. Now, the black kit for us, season one, we didn't win a single game wearing the black kit. Season two, this season, obviously, we have won every game whilst wearing the black kit. What, what a weird transition, but here we go. Kieran Curran Brown, he's got Sante through the middle. Surely for here, I hate... I literally hate the 1v1s in the match engine, man. It does my head in. It looks like we're dominating the play here as well. We've had, created a lot of opportunities. We've given the ball up needlessly there. Really shouldn't be doing so. But another counter-attack. Here's Hanks into Goodman. Goodman to Hurst. Hurst back to Burton. If we can get, work this ball wide and get a cross in, we've got good, good opportunities to score. Here it is, and this is what I like to see. The ball goes in, and there's a Sante at the far post. And Asante scores, and that's what I need to see. I don't. When we get an, an attacking opportunity and it's a counter attack, I never think we're going to score. When we get an attacking opportunity and it's played down the wings, I'm always confident we're going to score. And what a victory this would be! Not that I expect nothing to happen from here on, um, but we're controlling the game in terms of chances created, possessions fairly even. Uh, Dartford would be below us if we end up uh, winning this. Oh, look at the table. It's tight in there. It's tight. And this will give us six points um, between us and uh, eighth as well. But looks like they're quite attacking, doesn't it? That's a good ball in. There's Nash. Going to fall to uh, Marsh Brown and to Chester's. Chester's to Eweka. Yeah, this, this has got goal written all over it. Far post is wide open. Marsh Brown. Yeah. Just too easy, isn't it? It's just far too easy. We expect to be doing a little bit better than that. And so now I get to uh, shout. I demand more. Give me more, boys. I mean, we've created more than enough opportunities to to be well ahead this game. And the table just looks so wildly different if we're drawing versus if we're winning. Uh, we've created a lot of opportunities. Uh, we're creating a lot of opportunities. 14 shots, 6 on target. Who's having these shots? That's going to be the... Uh, the uh the question right so shots for us asante with six shots and only one goal where have they been from can i click on this and see let's take let's take everything out put asante in so he's put three right in the middle of the goal one in the bottom one top there i don't even know where his other shot is it's obviously been that bad that it's not even on there so the fact that Asante is having a lot of chances and not scoring makes me think Devin Arnold might be time to come on. Great physicals, not the best finishing, but um, or we could bring Bennett on. Not the best physicals, but way better finishing. Let's try that. Let's bring Bennett on for uh, for Asante. Um, confirm that sub, and hopefully Bennett can uh, can put the ball in the back of the net for us. They've got their goal scorer has just been injured as well, which is uh, really really nice. Uh, not for him obviously, but for us for the team. Uh, should hopefully um, give us give us a little edge in what we've got going on here. And let's bring Rio Connell on as well for... Uh, yeah, Clifford's not particularly playing too well, so we'll bring him on. A draw here wouldn't be terrible. Away from home against Dartford. You know, they're a good team. Let's get Demand more in there. 
Here we go. Balls up. Panther to Blackman. Hopefully this is our attack, not theirs. They've only got one man up front, five defenders. Yeah, we're, we're absolutely calm here with the possession. Ball goes up to Hurst. Hurst wins a knock on. Here is Bennett. Bennett bangs it off the post, off the keeper and out for a corner. Oh, you just kind of wish and hope, don't you? You just kind of wish and hope. That's a great ball in though. Bennett at the back post, not going to get it. And uh, defence should be clearing it up quite nicely. Let's make one more, one final sub. Let's bring on uh, let's bring on Booty into the midfield instead of Hanks. Hanks obviously uh, lack of stamina there. My fullbacks or my wide players also have like not the greatest stamina. Um, and here we go again. One more highlight. Twelve minutes to go. Hopefully this is us countering again. Come on, we we can push here. We can push. We can get this. Yeah, that's our ball. That's nice. Don't just punt it up the field. Let's work the possession. Work the chance. Nice. Good little bit of play there from the defenders. He's flipped it out. Yeah, see, that's what I didn't want. I didn't want just a rushed position. Now they've pushed up so much. But this still could be an attack for us. If we hit a counter, we'll be in a good spot. But as you know, counters are terrible. But I just don't like the way we play. Yes. Oh, we're through. This. Ha I mean, this has to be a goal. See, this is... That's why I don't like getting counters. Just don't. I just don't enjoy it at all. I just don't enjoy the counter-attacking football on, on this match engine. It doesn't doesn't make for good viewing, and it just put like it, it, it honestly it demoralizes you as, as, a, as a player because you think I'm creating all these cool chances with my team and they just can't score a damn thing. Yet you'll hit like a weird shot like that and it will fly in, and that is devastating. Like, genuinely, his first goal, of course, his first ever goal for the club, not even his first goal of the season, it's just devastating. We missed sitter after sitter after sitter, and then they score a weird goal like that. It's just, it's a bit tough, you know, it's a bit tough. Uh, we've got three minutes to go, two minutes to go, one minute to go. No more, uh, no more highlights, sadly. An even game by all accounts, but the problem with the game is... We miss two one-on-ones, one with Asante, one with Hurst. We're now only three points outside the playoff places and in genuine danger of slipping back into this kind of 12th and 13th spot area. You know, we're only six points now ahead of 13th Concord, who I, I believe we've got next, right? Who have we got next? Yeah, Concord. Three league games in a row where we've lost all by one goal as well, which is quite disappointing, you know? Um, it's it's tough, man. It's tough. I think what I'm going to do is uh, give the squad two days rest for this uh, this upcoming game. I want to make sure that they are fully prepared and fully fit. Um, and I know that Concord would have just had two games as well. So we'll get one more game in for today, guys. Whole team meeting. I do want to hold a team meeting. Um, let's hold that team meeting. Um, I want a passionate. We've been doing okay lately, but I know we could do a lot better. Let's give the fans something to chew about. We've been playing really well lately. Delighted how things are going. I'm really trying to ensure our heads don't drop. Things haven't been going away, but the ability in the squad to change our fortunes. There we go. Um, there we go. So we massively, massively boosted the uh, the morale, the morale in the club, which is really nice, and we should be going into. Um, into this game against Concord with a great chance of winning. But obviously the issue comes from um, from the fact that we've then got Dover next. But then we've got like eight games where it's just mid-table and low-table teams with I think one high-table team. And that's it. And, and that, that should be us picking up three points after three points after three points and really consolidating our position. Um, ooh. 100%. Oh, I'd have to pay 180k for him. Can't afford that. All right. All right. Here we go. I mean, we should be winning here. Concord are 13th. So they're on terrible run of form as well because they were 9th, then 11th, now 13th. They've obviously been uh, been been taking L after L after L as well. Um, so let's have a look what Concord's form is. Um... Teams where it faced Concord. Oh, wait, they, they got win, 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 loss. That's interesting. Um, yeah, they, they were. Oh, it's because they have a game in hand. So if they win their game in hand, they shoot straight back up to ninth. And even Concord, man, if they win this game, they're only like four points behind us. You know? Not that we should go in looking at it like that. But, uh, right, Hanks and Wilding just don't play well together. Let's bring Booty back in for, uh, for Wilding. 
Hanks and Booty have a really good partnership together. And Booty, he's one of those players that I don't think he's as good as, as just gifted in general as Hanks. But I just think, sorry, as not as Hanks as Wilding. But he just performs particularly well. Uh, so hopefully this team change now as well is going to do good for us. And uh, let's, yeah, see, oh no, their fitness is actually fantastic. Wow, they're all high 90s and stuff. So am I here. They've got a much, much fitter team than me. Uh, here's the first chance though. Hanks whips in the ball. It's going to fall to uh, Kieran Curran-Brown. He actually DM'd me on Instagram as well, uh, Curran-Brown, saying that he's uh, happy to be getting so much playing time for us this season. Hanks into Asante. Asante turns it. Asante shoots. And again, Asante straight at the keeper. How can I tell him to shoot in like in the corners? Just shoot in the corner. That's all I want. I just want you to shoot in the corner. Um, but this is we are fully, fully in control of this game. 25 minutes in. Um, I'll, I'll wait until this highlight plays out before we do anything. But Burton picks up the loose ball. He's got Hurst clean through. Hurst, surely from here. And it's another save. It's another, it's another one-on-one -on -one saved. This is sad, guys. This is sad. Ball comes in. Hurst at the back post. See, if Asante shoots from here, probably go in. Here's Goodman. Our centre-back's uh, well upfield. I mean, we are controlling the game. Like, genuinely dominating here. An injury to Kazim for them as well. Good for us. Their keeper's on a seven, obviously. He's, uh, he's playing good. And look at that now. If we don't win this game, we're seventh a point ahead. With, with first place coming in next. I need to give them a uh, an aggressive, not happy. Get out there and go and get that win. In fact, let's go. Uh, let's go positive. And let's go show some passion. And I need these guys to just sort themselves out. Doesn't really look like it's happening though, does it? How about a demand more? Here we go. Corner coming in. Whipped into Hurst. Hurst off the post. Hurst. Let's go. Twentieth goal of the season. A cheeky rebound goal for Hurst to put them back of the net. But they all count. And it's finally, finally in the back of the net. Let's go. And here we go again. Can we get a, open up a two-goal lead here, which would be nice. Hurst picks up the loose ball. Back to Hanks. Hanks spreads it out wide to uh, Curran Brown. Into Asante. He's got the physicals to win that. He cuts it back and there's Hurst. Oh, you've got to be doing better than that, pal. You've got to be doing better than that. Right, let's bring Brad Burton off. He always gets tired. Let's bring Sam Wilding on for Clifford. Let's bring let's bring Devin Arnold on for uh, for Asante for a change. See if see if like the different strikers can just perform. Last time we brought Devin Arnold on, he scored two and got an assist. So um, hopefully we can uh, we can do well. Let's show some passion. Fired up by the by the manager. I will take a one nil right now. Honestly, ball comes in far post. Booty's there. We put Booty back into the team, and he repays our faith by scoring. What a hero. And now we can praise them. Now the game's uh, done and dusted and we're calm. We've, uh, we've, we've avoided the crisis for the time being. Um, one, more, uh, one more highlight for today's game. For today's video as well, indeed. Here is Booty. Into Hanks. Into Wilding. Wilding much better suited in that camera, it seems. Back into Hanks. Hanks to Goodman. Working the ball nicely. Out to Connell. He's got three men in the box. He finds uh, Arnold at the far post. Kieran Curran Brown as well. Ball just gets kicked out. I don't know how this is a highlight. Maybe we get. Uh, I, I would have thought the highlight would have started here if it was going to be a highlight. But Kieran Curran Brown into Booty. Booty loses it. Picks it back up again. Tries to put it in. Can't. We're now 95 minutes on the clock. If there's not a shot had here, this would be a very very weird, um, weird highlight set. Where this ref's getting his time from, I don't know. And he didn't. That was a really, really weird setup. But hey, we get a win there, guys. Um, really, really nice. Very pleased with the boys. The, the team meeting obviously had a big impact. Still only three points. And in fact, if Oxford win their game in hand, two points between us and eighth. But only six points between us and third. Dover and Bath are running away with it. We've got Dover next, which is obviously going to be a bit sad, away from home as well. Uh, but then we've got the one of the easiest run-ins you will ever see. I would expect from, what's that, 3, 6, 9, 10 games, I would expect 23 to 25 points from those 10 games. Um, so hopefully we'll have a good uh, back end to the season. Uh, but that, guys, is going to be the end of the video for today. So if you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like rating, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.